I'd do like the intro and stuff, and I'd be like, I got this box on Friday, and due to scheduling conflicts, we weren't able to open it until today, and I definitely haven't opened it yet. Wink. <laughs> So on the outside, we've got some Forerunner designs that you may or may not be able to pick up on the camera. And we open it and immediately hit with a folder that is Spartan Eyes Only Top Secret. We'll take a look at that after we look at everything else. So, first item here is going to be a very thin hoodie that has the Spartan program insignia on it. And we've got Fireteam Apollo, I'm not even going to try to make that readable, which is the team that was debuted with this box. I'm pretty sure they have to do with the Halo novels. Next we have a little plush keychain of Mr. Chief. Anyone that was active in the Halo and Bungie forums years ago knows that this little guy was created for Mr. O'Connor's updates for the community and he kind of was just in every update for every week. I never was really active in the forums, but I do recognize the character. This is a pretty cool little keychain. In this box here, we have the new Halo Icons figures that were created for Loot Crate exclusive. I don't know if they plan on giving us one every month, but they announced this during some convention a few months ago, and I actually really didn't open this yet, so we're gonna take a look at um, what these figures like look like in just a minute here. Our last uh, major item, just take it out of the little bag. Got a UNSC branded little backpack, I guess shoulder satchel. Um, we've got uh, a little cylinder pocket here with some Velcro. You could stick a, um, what do they call them? Something patch in the military. They got the Velcro on the back of them. Rednecks put them on their hat. You can put it on your backpack if you want. Uh, we've got a couple vertical straps, um, a couple straps that I guess you could stick a pen or something. I don't know. Um, I read on Reddit that there's a pouch on the inside that is big enough for a Surface 3. So I took the official game shell Surface 3 and we we're going to try to stick it in the backpack. like a glove and if you want you can also you know stick your your halos in there we got the halo fives and you could stick mr chief in the bag that's that's a nice bag and the last item which i thought was going to be exclusive for the annual subscribers which apparently it's not i guess that's coming later um is the pin for the box which is the fire team apollo insignia got that right here. That's a pretty weighty metal pin. And the last thing, like in every loot crate, is going to be our magazine. This one is just the Halo Legendary crate. On the back you've got a uh, rec pack. Um, I've used it already so don't use the code. The rec pack came with two legendary items and it also comes with your Apollo Insignia logo that you can use for your icon in Halo 5. That's it for the first month of the Halo Loot Crate. I'm going to go ahead and dig into some extra items here and see what we got in our envelope and also what our figures look like. That we're looking at some papers about becoming a Spartan and yet we've got a letter from June who, I, was, I don't know, he was a Spartan in Halo Reach I thought, I'm not sure though. And we've got another letter from Spartan Operations and another letter from Thomas Lasky, who is the commanding officer of Fireteam Apollo, I believe, or no, the UNSC Infinity, so a spaceship. Lastly, in the envelope, we've got some x-rays for Spartan that kind of goes through all of the augmentations that their body goes through. Um, that's pretty cool. I don't know too much about the newer Spartans. I know they're not born and bred as Spartans anymore. They are people that were regular soldiers and are now augmented to be superhuman. So now we'll take a look at the new figure line, the Halo Icons. We've got a little red versus blue here. 
They're actually a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be based on the picture I've seen and the picture on the box itself. So we've got the base for the two characters and we've got our little red, or red, blue guy. A weird fit and that's because I bet I'm on the wrong post. These are interchangeable and the bases fit together so we will see what comes in the next five crates. Alright guys that's it for the first box of the Halo Legendary Crate series. These are bi-monthly so we'll probably see you again in November when box number two comes. Don't forget to leave a comment and a like on this video. Let us know what you might want to see in future Halo boxes and subscribe to Game Show.